And a nice little 14. On a 15 now. Oh baby, Modern Warfare freaking two man. Long time coming. <laughs> this menu is looking really cool. So we got loadouts. Um, so the weapons that are available in the beta is the Lockman, the M4, the M16, the AK-74U, the TAC, the Freecon. I guess I have the Cinder M4, don't I? This is really cool. All right, let's just. What are the we got? We got TDM and Domination. Let's just play, man. Oh, that one kill so far? Alrighty, man. So, Modern Warfare 2 is a game I have been looking forward to for so long, man. What's the weapon spec for the... Oh, I like that weapon inspect. I like how it blurs the ground a little bit, the background a little bit. I like that. So, Modern Warfare 2 is finally here, which makes me beyond happy. Especially because I'm a big, big Modern Warfare guy. If you guys already, didn't already know that. Oh, man, dude. This game does look good, though. Ooh. Definitely plays a little bit slower than Modern Warfare 2019. Which I am all more than okay with, to be honest with you. I'm sure footsteps are really loud, though. Gosh dang. I will say that your footsteps are really, really loud. Which, that may be nice for Warzone, but it's going to be bad for Warzone 2 because they're going to be hearing you from, like, miles away. Yeah, sound horn's definitely going to be very, very useful in this game. Very obviously. Oh, I'm so close to death. Oh, got him. Let's go. Oh my gosh. Nice little kill streak here. Oh, I'm not going to fret you, bro. Leave me alone. Gosh, I really did wish that you could re get streak kill streaks in this game, like wrap them, but. Maybe that'd be too broken. Nice little 10 kill streak. Of them, really? I don't know, 12 now? Okay. And a nice little 14. On a 15 now. I gotta push for the nuke, man. If we can triple cap, I can get the nuke still. I really just died on a 28. No shot, bro. Oh, damn. All right, TDM. Use the M4 again, man. On farm 18. So a shoot house map, basically. This map gives me like Partial shipment vibes, but also gives me like, um, oh, what's that map from COD? I think it was COD 4. What was it Modern Warfare 2? I can't quite remember that's. Oh no, it was Modern Warfare 3, the one with the that village in Russia or whatever. Gosh, I don't know why I can't remember what it was called, man. I'll put a picture of it on the screen. I will say though, this game so far, I'm enjoying the beta. I really am. Oh, I ran out of bolts. This definitely has potential from what I'm playing so far right now to be a top top five COD. And can de honestly, it can dethrone Modern Warfare 2019 for me. If the game can get some banger maps later on, definitely gonna be interesting. Also, I don't know if you guys noticed when your character's pieing a corner, like on some player's screen, so I'll actually angle the gun a little bit. I find that interesting. It also kind of reminds me of Grosner Raid a little bit too. I'm gonna hurt him. Oh, I killed two of them. Okay. UAV. Oh, yeah, to the advantage on my angle peak when I was already low health. Running out of bolts. 
this definitely gonna be a good year. I can already anticipate it. Like with Vanguard, I didn't, I didn't have that much fun in the beta, so I wasn't really prepared for the year. But I definitely think that this is going to be a fantastic year for for Call of Duty here, man. I definitely think it's gonna be a great year. Double kill. He's down. Oh, there was two of them in that room. But I will say, Mono for Two definitely feels good to play. Definitely, if you guys are on the fence about doing this, just try the free beta here. Um, it goes free to play for the PlayStation at least um, the 18th, which is Sunday, and it'll go until Monday. And then, obviously, next Thursday, the beta will start back up for the, the PlayStation for free, early access for Xbox and PC, and then the full beta will go free that Sunday and next Monday for all players to try. Which definitely, if you can't get your hands on it, definitely try and play it a little bit. Get a little bit of experience in before the full beta goes out. Get some weapons leveled up. Get some weapons unlocked and just get used to the maps. And you can dominate the beta for P for if you, that's your thing. Which is my thing, so, you know, do my best here. I also like, I kind of do like the new gunsmith system. It makes a lot more sense getting into it and using it than when you're just getting it explained to you. Jump shotting is definitely useful in this game. It can mess up with aim assist a lot. Like, you know, I'm playing on PS5 here, so I mean, it definitely messes out with your aim a little bit. So definitely, if you do get the opportunity to jump shot someone and you can get a jump shotting, that's probably going to be a viable tactic, to be honest. I'm not going to lie. So is drop shotting. That's always useful. You know what? It's going to be a good year.